Okay, so I think your name was Laurent something or something Laurent. Uh, thanks for donating. You donated like uh, $37, I think. So I assume that you would like a food plant teaching video when you just suddenly donate $30 to my uh, PayPal, which I'll also leave a link in the description. <clears throat> I think we're going to need a rock to act as a hammer. And take the trusty knife here. Got my sword knife. Double sided. Oh look who it is. <laughs> look at Oro, he's got a really bad cut at the moment. Can you see his... I don't know what's wrong with that. Anyway, it's just scratching a tick or something off. Let's go check out two things I want to check out if I can eat. So the first thing is this, this, this Kanya forest here. This is Kanya bamboo. Now you see how it grows quite tall very quickly. It has to shoot up through the canopy. I'm just kneeling down here. Hear the their wild chickens. Ooh, ooh. Really meditative. Can you hear them? Nice, hey. Hope you could hear that. Woo woo. Anyway, so the you know, like here's a good example, this little new Kanya has to shoot up. Right, and get up through the canopy. So in order to do that, these roots need a lot of uh, quick sugar action, don't they? They need a lot of carbohydrate. So what I wanted to do was check if I can eat the root. You see these roots here? That's why I might need this. Now they, they seem very hard. I've not even checked this. That's why... We're doing a video now, just down here in the Kanye bushes. Right, so what I want to do is see if it's edible carbohydrate. I've not researched it or anything. Sometimes I just like to get out there. So I'm just gonna have a little hack. My idea is I want to take out a slice and see if I can eat it raw. Because, you know, surely you could cook it a little bit like ginger. He's a good boy. Look at him. He's a jungle cat. He's got jungle cat stripes. Beaky beak. He's not feeling too good because of that. Wow. Look at his ear. It's been scratching. It looks like it's healing. He's not got a lot of energy. Anyway, so I want to take out a slice. I reckon if you cook it, it would be a bit like ginger or galangal or something. It seems, yeah, really hard like I thought it would be. You can kind of already tell it's got some sugar glistening in there. Yeah, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be edible, but I wanted to try this anyway. Just hack out a few bits. It's like sweet and bitter at the same time. Let me hack a little bit deeper. Maybe that bit there. Got a nice chip there. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. 
it's it's like it tastes just like very bland there is like you can sense sugars in the background look at him <laughs> climbing up the tree fishy fish <laughs> yeah it tastes a bit a little bit sweet but there's also like some bitterness there All right, come. I don't know how to zoom on this phone. I've got to press across, I think, when that zoom comes up. <laughs> Thanks for the new phone, guys. It's a bit of a crappy Samsung, but it'll do. Now, can you guess the second plant I want to check out, just to make it a little bit longer a video? <laughs> so do I think you can eat that kind of? Yeah, you could probably, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of energy, I have to say, like I can sense a little bit of something. Now, it's, it's more bland and sweet than it is bitter, so it, it's slightly edible. I would put it as a famine food. That's very interesting. I thought it'd be like that. I just wanted to check how bitter it would be. Because, uh, <clears throat> all right. Because, um, you know, I thought it'd be sweet because of the, the nature of how quickly it has to rush up. It must have a lot of carbohydrates stored in the roots. And it seems to me that I was correct. Oh, his ear is hurting. I can see him walking on an angle even with it. Peaky peak. Yeah, so that kind of does turn out to be edible in my opinion. I can sense energy. It's like rushing to my brain too. Now, I'd, I don't know if it has any toxins in it though. So, like I said, I have not researched it at all. Oh look, there's Karkaya as well. Remember the other video I showed you this thing? If you like, maybe, this is good for kidneys and, and it has like a whole list of properties and maybe if you mushroom poison slightly or something it could help because it would really go directly to the kidneys and, and the liver and flush them. So yeah, I don't know if there's toxins in those carnia roots but just by taste and energetically it, I can feel it just from a, you know that little piece. So I mean if you're walking along you know, in a survival situation, you know, I would chew on it. I don't feel any real toxic effects or anything. There could be toxins in there. Maybe you're not meant to eat the roots, but... You know, as far as I'm concerned right now, if I'm in a life or death situation, I would definitely do that again, because it's given me, like, some mouth saliva and some flavor. You know what I mean? Just giving you something in the mouth. Now the second thing I want to try out here is I've heard that you can re, uh, eat uh, pine, little pine tree roots. So I'm just going like, to tear, we're going to sacrifice one. Maybe I don't have to, I can just slightly tear him up, leave him in the soil. So you slightly leave him in there. I'm just going to dig around a little bit. And what I want to find is a little root because it's the same principle um, of apparently carbohydrates are in these roots and you can eat the, the little roots of these. Apparently, there's not much on this though, look. I mean, that's not nothing to eat really. It's so small, let's see over this side. I don't really want to, yeah, there's a bigger root but then I'm going to like kill the plant. So I'm not going to root that up, there's only one root there. And I'll kill the plant, so. Let's have a look if we can find another one with more roots. Yeah, maybe this guy is a bit bigger. Just do the same thing, just slightly pull it out. 
So we've got another one here. Oh, I can't even pull him out. Oh, that's probably the right size to do it with. Oh, he's come out. So we've sacrificed him, so I may as well give it a little chew. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm just going to put the phone in my pocket of my shirt. this because the rest of it <clears throat> is just like a big root bundle actually I'll, I'll have a chew on that too Probably <clears throat> a little bit different flavored than the Kanya, but probably about the same sort of thing going on. A little bit of bitters in there, tart a little bit, but it's kind of more sweet. Hmm. Uh, there's something to it. on the end here. I'll just give that a quick chew. No, that's too hard. So yeah, only those little little tiny roots coming off apparently you can eat. But as I'm chewing on that little bit now, again it's giving me a little bit of saliva and like just something a bit of flavor in the mouth, you know. But as far as energy goes it's not much. <laughs> not like it's going to get you far but that mental adjustment of oh look i'm chewing something right now you know i'm de-stressing by chewing my teeth because your teeth when you chew you notice it relieves your stress that's why a lot of people get fat emotionally eating and i like potato chips i have to say that is a uh, one vice because, uh, you know, if you look in consciousazine.net, potato chips, because they're cooked above 250 degrees, can have a cancer-forming agent in them. But I still eat potato chips sometimes, because, you know, I just really enjoy it. So there you go. You know, I'm still chewing on this little bit, and it's sweet. So I have to say that it's better than you know, being, you know, dry mouthed or something like that. So that's doable. They're both doable. I'd prefer to go the pine root, I think. Because I have no idea what's in those Kanya roots, if there's, like, any type of toxin or something. But, yeah, anyway, there you go, Lauren. Laurent something. Or something Laurent. I'll put your name in the video title, don't worry. <laughs> But yeah, I do think that both of those could help you slightly. <coughs> now, I think I just chewed out the, the sweetness or the carbohydrates out of that uh, little pine root because it started to get more bitter just then. That's why I spat it out. So yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, good little expo exploration. I hope you guys have learned something. And I do think that that would help if you're, you know, on a, out in the sun, right, trekking somewhere in the wild, and you just need something. You know, you could go for that strategy of just slight saliva in your mouth with a little bit of carbohydrate for a tiny bit of a boost, you know. And, you know, if you get a moral boost, that can activate adrenaline, which can activate vitamin C, Right, so you can get a cascade, cascade effect. 
So it's worth doing that and worth knowing that. So I hope you enjoyed the video.